Now, continuing down this path of blocks with attributes, another reality is if you've ever tried to explode a block with attributes, you probably didn't get what you were expecting, right? Now, there's another command that we can use, something called burst, that's going to keep everything intact. So if we jump back to AutoCAD here for a bit, let's take a look at that same block that we were taking a look at just a moment ago. And of course, if we were to pick on that block and come up here and run the explode command, oh my gosh, I get all sorts of stuff that I probably didn't bargain for. And at a minimum, I would have expected the number four to stay put there. But not only did I lose the four, I got all this other stuff that I, I didn't really want. So while the explode command certainly has a place with blocks with attributes, if you just want things to look like they do on the screen here, it, it, that's not the place. So the secret here is if you jump over to the express tools tab of AutoCAD, we have a whole panel here for blocks and there's a lot of really awesome things that we can do here. And one of the super handy ones is none other than explode attributes. So the actual command for this is burst. So you can type that in your command line as well. But if I use this burst command, I'll go ahead and pick on that door tag block just like so and hit enter and notice that it retains the value. So this has exploded the block attribute as I probably expected it to all to begin with. And once again, here is the principal components, the lines there, and of course the attribute itself, just a regular old piece of text here. So again, that's probably more in line with what I expected to get all along.